Tim and Matt starting now. Get sucked. One, it's so good every good. time. It's every, good every it's time. Good every time. <laughs> it's good every time. Welcome need, to Get Sucked. I need to to generate one of those little songs for my uh, high school improv club <laughs> that I'm a sponsor for. Welcome to Get Sucked. We're here to get sucked. Without the without the get sucked part, I want to clarify. Just well, just, well, yeah, that makes sense. Just something um, for them because it's get. so good. Oh, I, whoa, a, whoa, a, whoa, a, a mirage. mirage. Um, so how's everybody doing? We live in a world now. In a world. <laughs> in a world uh, full of possibility. Anything could happen. That's the exciting thing. It's exciting when you don't know what's going to happen. Ever. For any reason. I can... You can pretty much guarantee it's... It's not going to be good. But is it going to be good? It could be good, though, if you think about it. If you think about it, it could be the best thing. This could be the best thing for everyone. Oh, my God. It's time... Wait, come back. I'm... That one's for a me. Oh, that was it. Hey, all those people who are harassing me in the chat, are you here? All right. I don't like those guys. Those little <laughs> basketball guys. Not No getting sucked. We just said to get sucked. Yeah. We didn't say necessarily that we, we were, were going to be, be doing the, the sucking. Yeah. Oh, I caught it. What's up, Hung Fu? We are back after an, a hiatus, if you will. Wish I was high on hiatus. <laughs> You'll never be Troy! Whoop. Oh. Oh. Oh, we got... Dang it. Uh, Dang it! Please don't talk about the world. What can be the best thing for everyone? Please don't talk about the world. Well, you are in... Well, that's too damn bad! Yeah. yeah. I, I have thoughts, and uh, they're not all uh, doom and gloom. So if you... I, I suggest you listen because I, I think it's important. And listen good. I, I think it's it's a it's an important thing to listen to. Um, here to harass. Thank you. That's what we, Locks, we appreciate. Bags. Louise doesn't stream. Hello, hello. Welcome. I to always the I always ask for extra locks bags on my bagels. Oh yeah. Locks bags and schmear. Oh yeah. How's your schmear locks bags? You can't just ask people how their schmears are. Oh my god! Are you schmearing, bro? <laughs> sh I'm schmearing right now. <laughs> oh, I'm schmearing. We we live in a society of schmears. Okay. Way to kill me! You didn't die. You're, You're right here. Giant stupid elephant body. Wow. Is it instead of doom and gloom? Is it doom eternal? It is. Ah oh man. First off, doom eternal. Really underrated game, but it's a very difficult game to play. Uh, really oh. great. It requires a lot of dexterity and speed. I'm listening. Listening good. Okay. Well, where do I want to start? Um, so, I I think I think a lot of people in the chat. So your guy won. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Miss Life with the all chiming in for a bit. Days are bad. Oh, hey, what's up, what's Helen? Up? Oh, Dinah Helen. Yes. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Um, I know you can only stay for a bit. Uh, this is Helen from from Improv. Helen from Improv. You know the, the improv that we do? Yeah, thanks for coming to the show. I feel that's not something I Matt, have you started drawing? Uh, <laughs> yeah, your schmear. How's your schmear been? How's everyone's schmear been doing? If everyone could just um, tell us in the chat. How's <laughs> your schmear? How's your schmear? Um... I'm not trying to belabor the point. I'm just trying to uh, uh, get my thoughts in order. Um, Your thoughts and prayers. I have not started Sparking Zero yet. I really want to. This week has been kind of hectic for a lot of reasons. Um, but no, not yet. Um, Doing this as an elephant is one of my favorite things. It's pretty funny. Sadly, uh, so on, on Tuesday on election night, um, we, we adopted a new dog uh, like two weeks ago. <laughs> He's the president. You can't just call him the new dog. <laughs> no, I'll call him whatever I want. Whatever you want. I baby. call him Big Dog. <laughs> Big. <laughs> I don't. Everyone it does. never will. Just call me Big Dog. It's what everybody calls me. <laughs> it's what uh, everybody calls me. Uh, no, I, so we adopted a new dog. Um, I still... 
we had to give her back. If it, he's it wasn't cold, you're, if it you're wasn't cold, he's cold. it wasn't working out. Uh, the our old our current dogs. Uh, they, they weren't getting along. She just was a ball of energy. And it really feels like we're still talking about the election. We're not. It just happened on election day. So we, we took her back on Tuesday. We um, we, we took her back to uh, to Wisconsin, which is like it was like a four-hour trip, and then four hours there, four hours back. Um, I kind of planned it to be on election night so I wouldn't uh, spend my night doom scrolling. Um, it was really sad. Still kind of beat up about it. I really like that dog. She was really sweet. Just too much energy. Um no, I would say that that's a good idea um, to have a dog be president. I think that'd be great. Um, but I was going to say I didn't want to doom scroll because I, I I didn't find this election to be a surprise. No, it wasn't uh, a super surprise. I kind of knew that this was going to happen. I had really hoped it was not going to happen. But all of the polling, as it turned out, um, was pretty spot on. Like it, it really didn't miss by much, if anything. Um, so come back soon. So given that, um, I, I think it's a it's a shock to a lot of people, and it's going to put a lot of people. What's the point of it, over here? I don't know. A lot of people in danger, and I don't want to minimize that. But I do want to try to contextualize what happened and maybe think about what's next. Um, not in a doom and gloom way, just like, what do I think the next thing is for people to do uh, in, a, in a positive way? Um, Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, I think one of the things that really hurt this election um, was... It not was, having a primary? Yeah, well, I don't think it was necessarily not having a primary. I don't think that that helped. I think it was specifically the Biden administration was really, really unpopular. It was unpopular for a long time, like starting in like 2021, 2022, yep. and it never recovered. So having a candidate, uh, having a candidate that was historically unpopular, and then trying to switch him out way too late, I, I think he he. Oh yeah. If there's if if you can lay the blame on one person, I think you should lay it specifically at Joe Biden. Um. I think that he he spent way too much time, was way too hubristic, was way oh, yeah. too old to be out there, and way too cognitively not uh, 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 there to, to make like, the case. He was like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be a one-term president. And then he's like, yeah. actually, no, I'm not. Guess what? I'm staying in. <laughs> Thank you for the, the thoughts pew, 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 about pew, pew, the, pew, the pew, dog. Pew, 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 um, Jane. Uh, I think that that really set it up. So I didn't think that it was like an impossible task, and I still don't think it was an impossible task. It was really a hard task. And the reason I don't think it was impossible is you saw um, and you see there was five um, senators that won in states that Trump won, which is yep. pretty pretty rare for that to actually happen. He won pretty handily, and they won their seats. Usually it's it's people just po vote straight ticket, and right. so that's a very rare result. So I don't think it was necessarily like I, I would say. For everybody thinking, like, I don't know this country, I don't know these people, I think these people are rabidly right-wing, I think most people are not suddenly rabidly right-wing. Um, I think that that showed in the, a lot of voting patterns for people did. But I think the biggest thing, Trump got 3 million less m more votes, or 3 million less votes than he did last time. And uh, Harris just got, like, a lot less. I think what happened was people didn't go out and, and vote. Like... Yep. That is, I think, the biggest story is they were not enthused by this this thing, and when they did vote, they um, they voted for for two separate candidates. I think there was split ticketing. There was also a surprising thing I read today that there was a lot of people who just voted for Trump and not any other thing down ballot. So weird. So people like him in particular. Some people like him in particular. Um, Yes, people use their vote for many different reasons. I think one of the things that people also has to have to grapple with, which is what I've seen, um, this is not a hard lessons thing. I, I don't want that to be what I'm saying. I, I'm just trying to explain what I'm what I'm seeing and what what I've been seeing, like when talking to people uh, and and like doing political stuff for a long time. People vote for all kind of crazy re reasons. They do not vote just for like one reason or even like a, a logical reason and i want to say that me or you or anybody else is not absent in that i think m people are very emotional creatures and they vote emotionally and it could be say even as much as like a perception um and not even reality like it, it is a vibe voting is vibes based and people hold political views that are in complete contention with one another um and and you're not better like i want to say like 
you're not better at, in your voting patterns either. It's easy to say think that we are, but but you're not. You're 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 a peach, person of of emotion, and so am I. Um, a person of vibes. Yes, and uh, the vibes were off. And, and so now I want to talk a little bit. I think this was not a failure on one specific thing. I think it was a lot of confluence thing. It was death by a million cuts sort of thing. Um, I think. Time and time and time again, Democrats do this thing, and, and this is not Democrats, the voting populace. This is Democrats, the people who control the party. Do this thing where they think that they're going to tack to the right or to the center, and they're going to get all... Right. It never it never works. Never. Yeah, and, and that has proven time and time again to be just absolutely a dog shit way to do it. Don't let anybody ever tell you that they understand this myth- mythical like independent voter or anything. They don't understand shit about shit. They don't know. It's a bunch of consultants who make way too much money knowing nothing and losing elections time and time again. So the fact that Harris was out there trumpeting her like support of Dick fucking Cheney, a world historical evil man and unpopular being. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw uh, people broke down some voting shares. That was supposed to get people in the suburbs. Um, minus five with independents, minus one with Biden voters. Yeah, no so one you, likes Dick Cheney. Why? You, you lost voters and spent precious time trying to pander to this imaginary person. Yes. Bad idea. Again, I don't think that's what lost Harris the election. I, I think it, it did not help. It actively hurt. <laughs> and like not distancing yourself enough from Joe Biden. Yes. Who, like people absolutely happy with. what should have it, this was a change election and and she said when asked like She's what like, would you do differently and nothing. she said nothing i think it is impossible to separate this out from also the uh and i'm going to say this because uh, like this way because i don't know what the terms of service on these dumb platforms are the war i don't think it's just a war but the war in gaza um people seeing like the dead bodies of children like all over their timelines and everything and being told that their frustrations about um the killing of people were were wrong and in tying that directly to the administration Big, big, big issue. I want to say there is a a, a not insignificant uh, uh, to to your point there. I think that sexism absolutely plays a role, a hundred percent. The fact that she's black and the fact that she's sexist absolutely does does play a role. I don't think that that was the death knell. I think it does. Again, I think it's a lot of things. I think that 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 uh, does not count in her favor, though. Though I think that that could be overcome and will eventually be overcome. Um, I, I think another thing is you have to. I, I think this this t- talking about uh, what we we can do for people in terms of like a good positive economic message is is a huge thing. Um, you you cannot like oh I'm gonna give tax credits to like uh, you know a, a third of the thing if you do these means tested things. I think that's a fucking miserable failed policy and it doesn't work. You got to be bold. You got to be at like action oriented. You got to talk about we're going to give health care to people. We're just going to do it. Uh, yeah, you're exactly hung Fu. Like that, that does play a role. I just don't think it's I, I don't think that that is a, uh, a deal breaker um, that will never work. I, I think that that's just seeding ground to the right to try to pretend that like we can't ever have someone who's a woman or someone of color um, uh, to, to be president. I think that that just says that just preys on fear and instead of addressing, I think the more more realistic uh, problems that we can do, we can we can do. Um, yeah, because don't don't think they won't put Nikki Haley in there. Exactly, it, it, it's it's just a way to 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 play on people's fears, and I think that that is the biggest thing. See, uh, especially about like so. One of the things I think that the Trump administration is going to do that's pretty bad is um, we are going to see a lot of uh, people who are immigrants uh, uh, punished for just being immigrants, and yep. And one of the things that was completely seeded by the Biden administration and then Harris after her is talking about uh, immigration like it is a bad thing, something to be solved in a way that because it's just playing on people's fears. I understand people are like upset about it, but the fact that it's taking jobs or taking housing is just completely a right wing fabrication. And all they did was say, yep, we agree. And we're going to be like they didn't pass the bill, even though that they said I wanted. I think that that's a complete capitulation. And if people want right wing policies, they're not going to go with diet right wing. They're going to just go with the right wing. Right. No one's going to be like, you know what? They, they've satisfied enough of my, my right wing fantasy, but I'll go ahead and stick with them. Um, and, and 
I, I think that that is a mistake. You have to be bold and, and, and truthful and honest about what you're, what you're putting forward. And I think that, like, healthcare is a huge issue. Uh, economic like shooting for the middle isn't going to get you anywhere. No, no. It never works, and it never should be tried again, even though I think a lot of people are saying that, like, um, this is like a blaming the voters situation. I think that if you... If you think that half the country is evil and irredeemable, I think that why even be involved? Like, what's the point of ever running in another election? Like, if you think that people can't be persuaded or changed, why do anything? I understand that. Like, I'm not telling people not to be mad and upset and, and all that stuff. Like, that, I think you should direct your anger to the places where I think it deserves. And I think that it is a failure of um, the Biden administration and a failure of uh, the, the stupid consultants that they put in charge. Uh, of running this campaign um i want to say that one thing that i'll, I'll switch over I, I think there's many reasons you're going to see a lot of breakdown over the next while about why things and happen people breaking down yeah and people breaking down and in that i want to pivot to like what i think people could be doing um i think one of the things that you have to full-throatedly endorse is like people who are in uh like uh, minority positions or are in danger like you got to protect them you got to you got to put yourself out there and be forceful about how you're you're good with trans people you're good with gay people you're good with um like immigrants and start protecting people you're good of people of diff different ethnicities because they're going to be coming for them and it's oh so God. easy to just uh be afraid and say that they're going to come for for me and you got to put your body there and everything and and within that I think that one of the things that I hope happens is we start um, we start relying on each other a little bit more and we start making deeper connections with each other because part of uh, the economic conditions and the system we live under is is a deep alienation. Um, it's, it's so easy to feel alone and and uh, just feel like we want to retreat inward and I think that 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 only benefits the right wing and what they're trying to do is to try to feel alienated and that you can't do anything and that you should be um, you should definitely feel that way and give into that fear. You should be outward, and it doesn't mean don't feel what you're feeling. It means rely on each other. That's that's the whole point of what we're trying to do it, that, that separates us from the right wing is this isn't some sort of individualistic project where we're all just going to you know bootstrap it up. This is a, a collective um, journey that we're all on. We're trying to make our lives better for one another, and that means that we have to really be with one another in, in those things. Um, another thing is like, if you are upset by what happened, if you want to, uh, I think that the only way that we're even going to get through this in a, in a meaningful way with, like, without uh, extreme damage is I think everyone has to do their part. It, it can't be a few people. And if that's, if you only have an hour, if you're really busy, if you only have a couple days, get involved in something local. Find a, a thing that you really care about because collective action is the only way forward. I, I, I genuinely, like, the way that the party has been acting um, and the way that everything is, is they... They don't want you to be involved. Trust me. They, I've been in this for like eight years now, and and they hate when people get involved. But there, there is no path forward without a new generation of people uh, and a new way forward because it is uh, really um, uh, a geriatric and and really defensive uh, amount of people that are in there. And I and you get people like uh, Biden that that just want to see their own uh, vision of the future that's a, a failed policy and it, it dooms us all. So please, please, I, I urge you, like, find something you get involved. I know it can be scary. I've been doing it for a while. It's not scary. It, it, it actually, it fills me with energy. And it, the fact that I've been so, um, I've been less involved than I have been in the past few years, like, to me, I'm, I'm like, fired up. I want to get back involved and do, and do stuff because um, I've seen the effects of it. You know, two people that we ran, that was what I did this election season, is we ran two people, or we helped two people in school board. Um, and we canvassed for them, and we ran a, 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 our own our own campaign because we thought that they were going to be great. And despite what this county did for a lot of things, both those people were successful. And I think that they're going to be great on school board. Like those things matter quite a bit. Um, I will shut up. I've been talking for a while, but these are my like general takeaways. Um, but despair and gloom is going to happen, and there's going to be a lot of bad days. But don't let it. Acting as defeated as you are is only going to benefit the people in power. That's what they absolutely want to happen. They yeah. they want their things to happen without any sort of challenge to their to their power or authority. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't know what I'm supposed to do if I don't have those. Oh, he's still alive. I thought we got him. <laughs> like I don't have the fire flower anymore. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, I guess wait for him to. 
I don't know. I like it because I'm never out of the water. <laughs> okay. ah! Shit. I was better when I wasn't thinking. When I was talking. Okay, got him. Got him. All right. Let's see what I missed in chat. I think you saw most of it. Well, thank you, everyone. I, I don't know if that that have, helped with anything, but there that is. Um, I, I've been trying to digest everything that's happened, and I, like I said, they'll, this will be talked to death for for years. Um, but I think that people's thought that she was too liberal or too far left or all these things. I think that that completely misses the point, and you should not listen to the people who lost this election because there's a lot of consultants and people in the party who are trying to blame everything else. I think Bernie Sanders put out a statement that is absolutely on point with what happened. Um, uh, that was a good analysis. It was an abandonment of working class people uh, in in deference to, to people who have uh, their donor class. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I appreciate everybody here. Like that's why I wanted to say it because I think that like this, these are the people that uh, we need to be talking to you, like each other, and, and develop like deeper community with one another. Beep. And we won the world. This one. Oh. <clears throat> the whole desert. Yeah. Nice. We beat the desert. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tyron Hill, I hate to tell you that 2016 has never gone away. This, I saw some today. It's like day 4,000 of, of the year 2016. <laughs> I don't think we need to relitigate anything. I think we do need to start looking at uh, like lessons of, of what is actually viable. I think that tackling stuff, especially now in the in the wake of a loss, I think is important. I think that that is a a good thing to do, or else like you're not gonna you're not way. gonna make any headwinds. Where do we go now? I think we're one world away from from the final. Down. Um. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, hey, Red13, I didn't even see you pop in there. Oi, oi. It's hard to, to think about, like, you know, what a good candidate would be for, for 2028. Yep. When there might not, like, it's, like, yeah, hard not to, to like, doom scroll in your mind to the point where, like, well, is there even going to be a, an election in 2028? Yeah. I, I mean, that that's a total concern. That's why I'm I'm not even focused on necessarily that right now. Sure. Um, yeah. Like, I think focusing on getting organized right now with people yeah, um 2026 yeah uh, 2026 and getting involved with like what's going to happen next start talking about like ways to to organize locally and and yep. resist a lot of stuff that's happening because the one thing about this country that a lot of uh you know if you talk about like things that happened in in 30s germany uh, i don't think there's a direct parallel to, to 30s germany that would happen here just because of the makeup of the country which i mean it's very spread out um it's very hard to govern from a central location. Right. It doesn't mean they're not going to try. I'm just saying, like, it becomes very hard, and that that means you that you're reliant on your community to do. Oh, oh my god! Shit. How do you even do it? You have I to think like it bubbles, bubble. Bubbles Damn. All the time. That's tough. Jeez. Um. That that is that is why it's important. And then you can start. I think finding candidates locally um, that that you can run and start to build up because there is just like. There's hardly any bench in the Democratic Party. And that's assuming you want to organize with the Democratic Party. I, I know a lot of my uh, socialist friends oh, out there um, this really is, this is what. don't don't uh, like that. I, you know, I'm less interested in how it's done more that that it's done. Oh my gosh. Um, I I want to win and I am less concerned about being uh, ideologically, so to speak, uh, tied like, oh. oh, I have to, to feel this one way or the other. I want to win because I want to see good things happen to, for for people. Yeah, um, and, and I think that's a, a lot of people are like, well, I you know I, I disagree with the Democrats. Or I disagree. With I do too. I, I and yeah, viscerally same. hate that party for real. And I still recognize that there's not a lot of alternative at the moment. Right. 
Um, if we want to see that, we got to organize for that. But that that becomes like a big process, yep. um, especially given the structural nature of how politics is run in this country. Like it becomes like very hard to a little to bit do. of a feudal process, right? Um, it, it, it takes a long time. Oh my god! They talk about like well, Europe and all this stuff. Europe is okay. parliamentary. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what to do. It's yep. <laughs> um, it, it, they they have parliamentary systems. It, we, we, the fact that we have first past the poll in a lot of like electoral college and, and districts and stuff, it's a different beast um, to, to organize here. And uh, so, however, wherever, like you, you, you gotta, you gotta organize the way you can organize. Oh my God, your bubble threw me into the thing. I'm sorry. You bubbled me. Nice. How do you only say? Watch out! Oh, I wasn't looking. I was looking at the chat. <laughs> oh, it's not just the center. It's the whole circle. Uh, I gotta see if we can... No, get this. Bowser! Hit this Bowser block! Nice. Ah! I will check chat in a second. Oh my god. Hey, Bowser, hit these Bowser blocks. Shit, I'm dead. Now give me the rock. No, I'm dead again. Nice. I Good got job. a Wonder Seed. That's what they used to call me. Oh my god. Oh my god, I want to talk more, but like I can't. I have to focus. My focus in. I'd, I'd vote for you if you ran for office. Thank you, thank you. It's not something I haven't thought about before. Um, I think just timing. Uh, I think that that's another thing that would really help is if you don't think that you're qualified for office, I promise you you're qualified for office. You should listen to politicians, you should talk to them. They are just normal people and oftentimes not very smart. <laughs> you are you are just as qualified as they are, and we need regular people to run for these offices because a lot of times they just run uncontested, especially in red states. Um, a lot of these red states with like a bluer bluer towns or something, um, they just run uncontested. It happens here all the time. Um, it's a sad state of affairs, and and the only way that we're going to change stuff is is if you and I and everybody else gets involved. It's the thing I like to say about like a, a democracy as long as we got one is that it doesn't start and end on. Uh, uh, election day uh, democracy is like a full contact sport it happens in meetings it happens in all that stuff it happens with your neighbors um uh it, it's just if you want it you gotta you gotta play uh it's not fun sometimes it's also very tiring and very tedious uh but it's better than the alternative <laughs> is it <laughs> well <laughs> i guess that depends on uh, what did you think i guess we'll find out yeah and uh, uh, another thing is, is, be sincere, man. That that is one thing that kills politicians all the time. They try to like act like they they're gonna do stuff that the voters want. If you are, I've seen it happen so many times. If you are sincere in your beliefs, even if people don't agree with you, they will sometimes support you just because you are being honest. Um, I, I think that that's proof positive in a lot of um, stuff with like Bernie. Like he's just he's seen as a very authentic person, even if a lot of people would say that they disagree with what he's trying to trying to do. Um, that matters for a lot. Uh, people talk about politicians being inauthentic, and I think that it's largely true. Can get we this. get up? Yeah. We, um, it, we got hop on a bubble? Here. I'll, I'll make bubbles. Bubs. 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 Oh, that was the one. Nice. Was, nice job. Okay. Okay. Well. Okay. 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 Oh, All right. We can. We can be on these vines. Yeah. Ah! Well, <laughs> I tried. Oh my God. Here. 
Like, why did I fall so fast? <laughs> I did it. Ah. <laughs> oh God. Audio's perfect day. Oh, great. <laughs> I picked a good day, I guess. Because I went on a tirade. Tirade uh, heal. Um, yeah, for, for people who are feeling down and everything, like, I want you to know that, like, clearly, people in this chat, people everywhere, they care. Um, and so don't, don't try to feel alone. Don't feel despair. Find the people in your life that, that do that and, and get with them. Um, build. Let's build the better world. Oh my god. The map isn't giving us enough ah! fast enough. I think we're supposed to get those powers. Oh, there they go. They'll hit powers eventually and stop. But we can also throw them. I was trying, yeah. Uh, they'll, they'll hit that power there. I like when it tells me good, like... Uh, no, you have to throw it at I him. tried to. Okay, good. Matt, do you even care that I'm joining your TV show via audio only? Listen, that's, I, we've that seems discussed like a this, you problem. <laughs> we've discussed this in person. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> bump, bump, bump. <laughs> she came down in a bubble, Doug. Ugh. Hey, Nervous Hair, how's it going? By the way, congrats, buddy. Did you hear what happened about Nervous Hair? Uh, no. I don't I don't know. Nervous Hair, Maybe. why don't you put it in the chat so I, it's not my news to give. Maybe I know. Nervous Share. Nervous Share your opinions below. And your cool Your opinions stuff. blow. <laughs> Get sucked. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Hey. Oh, you took both of them. I didn't take one. Oh, did he eat it? Yeah, he ate it. What a jerk. The audio is very excellent. That's great. I. How's the video, Rosie Jane? Definitely have had audio issues in the past. No, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Don't keep people in, in suspense. Say it. Yeah, say it. Say what your news is. Say it, nervous hair. He had a baby. It's a boy. <laughs> Hell yeah! Moving to Chicago, baby! Hey, what for? Best city number one! What, why? He's, he got a new job. New job? What kind, of, what kind of job? I actually don't know what kind of job. Getting paid? <laughs> Just making money. Red 13. He's like, Schomburg. Uh, yeah, are you are you carrying that grudge with the grave? To the grave? <laughs> what grudge? Oh, when people say Chicago and they say, oh, I'm from Chicago. Uh, is it really Chicago? Yeah, are you, mean, like, the are you like, yeah, are you from the region? Are you from a fucking, uh, yeah, like uh, Elk Grove? Uh, come on. <laughs> Over this way, uh, no, over okay, here. Okay, fine. Let me. Fine. <laughs> See? That was good. See? We needed it. We needed it. Just like the rain, we needed this. Oh. Wow. What? Uh, can we walk on the spikes? Oh, we can oh, walk okay. on spikes. But he was like, glad I'm not a Goomba. He's going to eat Oh, us. yeah, we have to hide. Wow. We have to be sneaky sneaks. <laughs> <laughs> I like what determination ah. we have. Like, da -dum -da -dum -da -dum 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 hide behind the tree. <laughs> Can't jump, but I can do that with my mouth. <laughs> Nervous hair. Do you not love us anymore? I mean, he doesn't live here. He doesn't live here. <laughs> he lives in Wayne's Fort. <laughs> it's like Floyd's knobs. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, go left. No. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> ah! 
me so sweaty. I'm so happy though. Look at oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta wait. We gotta wait for the platform. Don't wake daddy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Donk. How do we get up there? <laughs> I didn't go peek. But oh, uh, we gotta wait. So long. Oh my god. And then we have to just like. Yeah, nervous hair. You should move to Aurora, Illinois. Uh, go. Oh god! No! Ah! <laughs> Gotta wait for that. Way, but that one. This movie has more stuff. I did say go left, but I, I want to say I, I hope there was more to it than just adopt left wing economic policies because I but, do think that's but, right. But we do need those. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm not. I'm not discounting that. I'm saying that there was more to it than just they should have gone left. They should have. But th I think there's a deeper analysis here. And I think that there's like. Um, there's not a, there's going to be a thing that like people just wholesale rejected all Democrats. And, and I think that the, the election just doesn't prove that out. Like the house is extremely close. It's probably going to go to the Republicans, but like the fact that the Senate and the house are as close as they are, given the other parts of the election right. show that it's not just like just a wholesale repudiation. I think it has, there's, there's specific blames to be laid at the, the, the Biden administration. And the consultant's class. Boosting spin jump one. An infarction. All right, that's my contribution. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a cool spin move. It's like the Wii. It is a, a little bit like the Wii. You're I've been trying to do that this whole time. Oh, you're trying to shake the control. Oh, you can. Yeah. They were like, oh, you've played the other Mario. Wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> Isn't it a mitocardial infarction, a heart attack? You mean a fart attack? <laughs> it's just say fart attack. Ugh. <laughs> I uh, dunked it up. I got a I wonderful. I dunked it up when it mattered. I got a wonderful. I haven't drank one bit of this White Claw yet. <laughs> it's causing an infarction and it's not causing a scene. <laughs> What's everybody's weekend plans? You got cool weekend plans, everybody? Mm, yeah, let's wear it. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like yeah. it. I like it. I like it. I like let's, it. Let's like just it. wear it. Let's just wear it. Muncher Fields. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I barely know her. <laughs> Thank you for answering my question literally and providing nothing more. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, <laughs> what are you, a student? Nervous hair. What job did you get? He said he's a senior electronic tech. Oh. I just thought he was describing himself. <laughs> He's just an old guy. <laughs> hamburgers. I like hamburgers. <laughs> Why can't we're in the background? Because they're munchers. Munchers don't don't take kindly to fire. Around these parts. Comedy show. Oh yeah. Go see Nervous Hair at the comedy show. What comedy show? On Saturday. Nervous Hair is in a comedy show? Yeah. What comedy show? The Civic Theater. Us nervous sure. hair is in a comedy show. Not nervous hair, Tyron Hill. I'm well, so sorry. You said I know. Hair, I, said, I said I'm sorry. And I got confused. I said I'm sorry. Mike, you, you can see why. Let's go on these munchers. It's like we had to. Yeah, We're get, like speedrun Dan over here. Ah, oh, I got munched. <laughs> oh no, get, get them stars. Only one of us can. Dibs. Nose goes. Damn it. Oh, 
Oh, you made me. You made me. You made me. I didn't make you do you anything. Made me get munched. I didn't make you do anything. You did it yourself. Oh my god. It was sinking. It, oh, my kayak is sinking. Uh. Yeah, come back. Oh my god. We welcome you with open arms. Open arms. Saying their names. Donk. Oh, we got this. Bring two wonderfuls. Dos wonderfuls. <laughs> Remember when butt munch? Way to go, butt munch. Hey, butt wipe. Butt wipe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a plasma screen. Hey, booger breath. <laughs> uh, stupid person. <laughs> uh... Hey, four eyes. I don't wear glasses. <laughs> Remember when bad meant good? Oh, so bad. Whoa, that's bad. And then parents were like, oh, what? <laughs> what do you what mean? Do you mean bad? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's bad. Their socks were blown clean off. <laughs> so bad. He's so bad. I was watching some documentary about Defeat like Defeat them and keep going. Um, the creation of NBA Jam. And they had like people on playtest and there was just some like teenager kid he goes yeah man it's bad it's bad <laughs> <laughs> now what i think we have to go up the pipe well, i don't want to go up the pipe and i'll choose that bubble thing no this pipe oh that pipe oh good yes i know it was that's why i didn't push so hard for it i know you like it down there i just meant come to the show oh yeah travel <laughs> just like you can just visit <laughs> come to indiana for the like the practices and shows do not come do we're not gonna have a whole lot of that do not come <laughs> everyone what about me what about you what do you got going on what I do said, you got what do you got to the do i doing? said what are you doing what are you doing this weekend <laughs> what about what about me why don't you ask me what i'm doing donk 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 where Kong. is this other fish Get him! Everyone, what about me? <laughs> well, what about you? There's no... Uh, Are you wanting us to say, <laughs> yeah, come to the show? You should come. Come. Just just go. Just go, come to the, the... Yeah, you. We're excited about you. <laughs> I have to check out my five-inch dictionary from Old Dave to check Your it Your five-inch what? Five-inch dick. Chanary. Is that a five-inch dictionary? It doesn't happen to see me. What the fuck? What is happening? I think you're having an infarction right now. Do not come. Yeah, come on. Come hang out. July at latest. Dumb. Um, so I still haven't signed up for classes for grad school because I got an acceptance that said, like, you're admitted. And then I have not got anything further. And I had to call them yesterday and be like, what is happening? What's and next? And they said, oh, wait, you were admitted. I said, no, don't. Don't do that. <laughs> don't. Don't say that. Don't say it like that. Um, you were admitted? And they... And it turns out that they just were like, oh, it must have got lost. We have to process it still. And I'm like, fuck. It's very nerve-wracking. It's very, very nerve-wracking. What about to say? I want to sign up for it already. And then I have to review math because I forgot what math uh, is. Like, Occasionally, I'm like, maybe I should go back to college for math. And then I could, and I'm like, no. <laughs> no. I... There's so much about calculus that, like, now I'm reviewing videos and, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, totally, I remember, like, this stuff. Sure, yeah. Uh, but it's been so long that I'm like, oh, I got I got a de giant hole where I learned all that math. Like, there, I, I've not used it in 10 years. The memory hole. <laughs> yes. Here's the thing that I think, this is what I think about math at that level. There are, we have people for that. You know what I mean? Like, we have people. Yes, exactly. Like, oh, 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 that was definitely a mistake. We didn't mean to admit you. <laughs> Wait, you? <laughs> 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 
This doesn't make sense. You were admitted? I'm looking at the numbers here. They just don't add up, Jerry. I really enjoy high-level math. Like I, th- To me, like there's a, there's a like a really... I uh, wish hi- I was high on level math. <laughs> like a satisfying feeling about solving a very complex problem or using the tools to like solve a real problem. The thing with like electrical engineering is because it, it really there's not like a physical component to it. It's, it's all like signals and stuff. You use it in reality. Like there's not like a... Oh, when am I ever going to use this? Like, they apply it directly to what you're studying. No one's in college going, hey, when am I going to use this, professor? I don't know. Everyone's in college because they just want to be in school. But, I mean, like, some people have to take, a, like, a required math course for their major. Oh, even though yeah. They're... Yeah. Well, that, yeah, I don't... I guess so. Because, like, my major was that. And it, yeah. It, you know, I... I guess other people had to take math, too. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Nothing like a bigger thing. Oh, when am I going to use this my uh, Want me to open up other sections of AP Physics? They haven't touched calculus. Today. See, like, I, I'm, I'm in a similar boat. I don't really use it for programming. It's it, it's not the level of programming that I'm doing. Some people do, but I write business apps. I don't need to use it. Uh, but I think oh, it's so fun. Let's get the royal seed. <gasps> give, give me your royal seed. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna come. <laughs> Just give me your royal seed. Yum <laughs> yum. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Mlem. Ew, come on, man. What? <laughs> That's what comes after that. I can't just say Mlem. No, you said it after royal seed. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I've been reviewing specifically yep, Fourier names. transforms, <laughs> Laplace transforms, and uh, the Euler formula, which is like all within that. Euler is, is he's an important guy. He did a Euler lot and of his shit. freaking number. It's Laplace. <laughs> it's Laplace, damn it. <laughs> oh, I guess we just go forward here this way. Go to the right. Look how fast this elephant's going! No! <laughs> no, I didn't want no. <laughs> God, what are you doing over there? I want the elephant, and it won't let me have it. I will say the fact that like we figured out like that you can, like a Fourier transform gets you like the the signal of um like the compos- component signals of like any sort of signal is so cool to me that that we like figured that shit out. Listen, I'm I'll be real with you. Yeah, we didn't figure that out. The well, pe- I meant the, the, the human the, humans. The people did. Yeah, yeah, humans yeah, did. The, the people. Or, like, that you can make a square wave out of, like, a bunch of different cosine waves or sine waves. Um, like, pretty fucking cool. That's why we can play Mario. Like, almost actually true. <laughs> why we can do Mario to each other. Oh, we're just gonna sit around and do Mario to each other? Yeah. Kids these days are so nasty. <laughs> They're doing Mario with one another. In my good Christian suburbs. Can you get this thing already? I don't know if I can. Yeah, drill in there, baby. Drill, baby, drill. <laughs> uh, but I don't think I can drill in there. See? How are we supposed to? Uh, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Veracity Jane. What's the dictionary definition of infarction? Well, we're, yeah, finally, we're getting to the <laughs> bottom of this. <laughs> you solved this? I solved, I solved this. this. What are those fish doing in there? Just being fish in there? <laughs> what the heck is this map? What do we? We need? have to solve. We have to find the coins. Oh, this is why there's different hats. Like we gotta change our hats. I think that's. I think that's exactly what it is. <laughs> we the people exclusively means Tim and Matt. That's right. A country by the people for the people, specifically just Tim and I. Like, I can't go in there. What else would you... Oh, oh can you bub it's it? It's a bub. It's a bub. Maybe? Well? It's not the bub. It's not bub material. Can't, is it this thing? We have to use this thing over here? What thing? Oh, maybe. Ow. Nope. <laughs> nope, can't hit that. <laughs> Why are there two tubes here? Two tubes. Tubes. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Not that. Whoa. Anyone got any ideas in the chat? I need 
a hat. What uh, oh, what yeah. kind of hat you need? Oh, just let me get one. What are these tubes for? That's a great question. I don't know. Okay, so we got... Oh, we, if you're an elephant, can you, like, stamp on one of these tubes or something to make it go up? I, I thought I maybe did, did that, but... Or push them oh or something? Oh, my God. I just want to choose one and then get past the others. Ugh. Oh, pushing, maybe. I'm extra concerned about nervous now. What about... Why are you... Why? Are you afraid he's going to have a myocardial infarction? I think he's concerned about it, too, so I think you're okay. So I think he's he's trying to do stuff about it. About his... About his ticker. Did, did that... Oh. Did we talk about Nervous Air's heart? No, he did it one time. Today? I think. No, not today. In the past. Oh. Yeah, I'm like genuinely stumped here. Can you go up? Nope. Heck? Okay, well, is there What in the world? Come over this this way. Come this way. Trying to push, but there's nothing to push. What are these? These fish. fish. Maybe you gotta bub them? Oh my god, with the bubs. Bub the fish? Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta bub the fish. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, well, there's one of them. All right. So that we have three. We're looking for two more. Okay, what's going on over here with these slots? There's gotta be something here with this, right? Damn it. Oh, that's you. Okay. What's up? Oh, we need the drills. Drill? Get, yeah, baby? We need drills. We need drill from Twitter. Oh, man. Twitter, Twitter legend. Get that drill. We both need him? I don't know. We, we kind of have to be on the same screen. Yeah, that's what I was doing, remember? But, no, I, like right here. Oh, well... You can't drill to the side, I don't think. Oh, maybe we have but, to start? Like on one of these uh, platforms? Like, start at the top. Oh, it's... And then go there down. Is, there it is, there it is, there it is. I know what it is. I know what it is. It's this one. And then we can... Whoop. Oh, yeah, totally. Okay, go for it. Nice. Nice. I'm gonna so hop up and spend my chance break here? labor room. Thanks for stopping by, Helen. Is there? Oh my gosh! What's up? You killed me. You're you're fine. I want to see if there's more over there. Okay. Nope. Turns out no. Okay. Bye, Helen. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, oh my God! How do I get out? You just get. You go on the platform. Don't you drill the rolly ball? I don't think so. Um, I think we just have to figure out how to do this. This is the last one. Uh, what you just do to me? Do you need to... What? What can be gleaned here? We haven't used the elephant for much, have we? Well, I used it to get all the blocks up, up top. That doesn't seem like... What do we do here? Did one of these get moved um, irreparably? I don't think so. What do you need? Well, I'm just going to... This. Is there like a drill we can do somewhere? What? We could use the drill. The the rolly ball seems weird. Like yeah, is like, there something? Can you do something with the elephant with the rolly ball? Uh -huh. Ah! You can knock it. Oh my god!
No. <laughs> yeah, keep going. This is the way. Oh my god. Well, it was. It like starts making me slide down the hill. I want to be a Lafant too. Uh, just like lost all my hand eye coordination. All my fine motor skills were gone. Okay, let's, let's. I guess. Look who's good at being the <laughs> elephant. <laughs> that was it. That was the. That was it. We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got him. <laughs> I don't want to stop by a pop and shop. Okay. Well, we have two. We have two. We have a lot more levels to do. But I think we've been we've been going for about an hour. We've been going long enough. So uh thanks for stopping by everybody. Quit asking so much of us. <laughs> I hope that if anything you enjoyed at least having a, a small distraction. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. We'll see. Uh, we'll see you next time. On the next time. Don't lose hope. Good. <laughs>